today we're going to be uh, looking at one of the projects we already uh, started on a while back and uh, we're going to be doing some color correcting uh, using adjustment layers. First we're going to make a group and we're going to label that in good form. And then we're going to take this mouth layer here and drag it into the group. And the next thing we need to do is we need to set the group um, blending mode to normal. And I'll explain that later. Then we're going to add an adjustment layer. Uh, for this we're going to be using a hue saturation adjustment. And we can come up here to the adjustment panel. And we can start tweaking our saturation, lightness, and hue. Um, and until you get uh, a little more confident uh, with this panel, uh, you kind of just move the sliders around until you find uh, the the look you're you're going for. Um, if you understand hue, saturation, and lightness, uh, this should be easy for you. Uh, if not, I'll, I'll do another tutorial that explains those a little more. And the nice thing about adjustment layers is it's a uh, non-destructive form of editing, which is what uh, I prefer to work in. I believe it's the most professional and efficient way to work. Um, you, can, you can turn on and off the uh, adjustment layer to kind of see what the difference is and uh, none of it's permanent. Um, and you can keep tweaking these uh, until you're comfortable. Uh, I'm just going to tweak them a little more and then kind of leave it at B. And then we're going to move on to another um, uh, adjustment. And we'll probably go back at the end and, and touch it up and make it perfect. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to label this uh, adjustment. We'll call it skin correct. And uh, we're going to we're going to make these teeth a little wider. So we're going to create another adjustment, um, and we'll call this teeth correct. And we're going to adjust uh, these levels again. To to kind of whiten our teeth. The teeth are a little yellow. Um, and you might be thinking, well, this is going to adjust the, uh, the whole mouth area. And you're correct. But uh, the beauty of adjustment layers is they, o they always come with a uh, mask whenever you create one. And once we're done getting our teeth kind of where we want them, we can mask out the, uh, the lips and the, the rest of the skin and gums. Uh, you could actually go ahead and mask that out first before you start doing this. Uh, the reason I don't is I kind of like to see what the effect um, my adjustment has on the rest of the skin. Uh, kind of helps me figure out how natural this adjustment's going to be. Uh, but uh, now we can come in with uh, our brush tool and just paint black onto the mask. Um, I'm using a soft brush. Uh, that way we don't have any rough edges. And we can kind of just shrink the brush here once we get uh, the outer outside of it uh, masked out just to get the lips and the gums. And don't worry if you get the teeth a little bit once you get into that gum line because you can always, of course, switch over to white and start painting back the teeth, which is a little bit easier. In fact, an even easier way to do this would probably paint black over the entire mask first, and then paint white over just the teeth. But there you have it. You can see our teeth are, are visibly much whiter. Um, and we'll just touch it up a little more here. But uh, now we zoom out, we realize that the, the teeth are um, lighter. However, they've got kind of a grayish, dead look to them. So we'll bring the saturation back up a little bit. And 
adjust the lightness and that gives us a much better white uh, maybe adjust the hue a little bit make it a little colder feel um, that's looking much better um, uh, a beauty of uh, groups is that uh, you can now manipulate everything that's in the group um, so our masking on our adjustments will will move along with the entire group. Uh, another nice thing about the uh, groups is that we can we can apply a layer mask to the entire group, and uh, of course it will mask out everything that's in that group. Uh, there are some other neat uses for this that uh, we'll touch on later, but for this one I'm just going to show an example of why we might use that. Uh, I want to see what the skin looks like underneath the nose and see if we can get it a little more natural. However, now that I'm looking at it, I don't I don't really like that. And uh, again, the beauty of non-destructive editing. Um, we can just simply disable the uh, group layer mask and do away with what we've done. And the last thing I'm going to do is just kind of touch up our skin here. I'm still not liking it. Uh, we're going to use a free transform tool. I'm going to bump the nose in a little bit by holding control while I pull on that top left anchor point. Um, and I'm going to kind of see what we've done here as far as the uh, skin. And come in and just adjust the uh, lightness and saturation a little bit. And uh, I'm not going to spend all day on this, uh, but it gives you a, a nice look into what you should do uh, in this case. But uh, our time is up.